Mr. Speaker. Kia ora. As, as much as I would Reno like to move an extension of time, uh, I, I think that member deserves a, a drink. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, we, we all do, absolutely. But, but, um, we'll all be one by the end of this. <laughs> well, we'll wait and see. But thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm pleased to uh, speak in support of this third reading, sir. And, sir, I, I was one of the speakers. I've looked back on my earlier contributions on this bill, and uh, you know, I was quite critical. I was, I was quite critical of the um, Christchurch City Council and uh, the officials of you know those nine successive years where they basically broke the law and didn't uh, comply with the uh, Local Government Rating Act. So, but I think I've, I've, you know, I've said my piece, and I, I know that uh, the Christchurch City Council have got the message loud and clear. Uh, can I acknowledge them, though, for actually fronting up to um, Parliament, acknowledging their mistakes, and um, going through this process to uh, to correct the, um, the the errors and the illegality of their actions? But, uh, sir, I guess uh, I, I just only want to make a short contribution, and rather than. Um, you know, critic, being critical of the, uh, you know, uh, the Christchurch City Council, uh, you know, it's there for everyone to see uh, the errors that were that were made. I guess they are um, coming to Parliament now to correct that through retrospective legislation, which we're doing. Uh, but I, I would hope, sir, that um, this piece of legislation is is, is a um, is a message, I guess, to all of local government in New Zealand. Uh, the 78 local authorities that we have right up and down the length and breadth of our great country, uh, the, the, the regional councils and the territorial authorities and all the different um, types of uh, authorities that we have, councils, district, city, unitary. I think uh, hopefully this is a lesson for all of them. Please make sure you comply with the law and it's not hard. When you're, doing, when you're setting your rates, just follow the requirements and the legislation and make sure that you're doing everything by the book and when you're passing your, your resolutions you're actually including everything that's required um, to be put in the resolution. It's not hard, it's not hard but, but so, uh, and I know this is, a, uh, this is a, uh, an area where local government New Zealand is actually wanting to improve the performance of, of local authorities around the country. And this is one area where they can definitely improve on their performance. Uh, just, just please take the time, do what um, Mr. Ron Mark did when he was the, the mayor of uh, Carterton. You know, they, they, they made sure they complied with the law, they, uh, they uh, passed their resolutions, and they included all of the correct information <coughs> to uh, ensure that it was compliant with the law. And so that, that, that's really my message. Please, to local authorities around the country, please make sure you follow, follow the um, requirements, the compliance checklists. It's not hard. Make sure that you put everything in the resolutions, because otherwise we may be forced to sit through more contributions <laughs> <laughs> that we've had tonight. We've heard about Shakespeare, we've heard about neoclassical architecture, we've heard about um, <laughs> all sorts of stuff in this debate. And, <laughs> and, and, and so, uh, unless, unless the good people of New Zealand want to sit through uh, more corrective patch-up legislation, please, local government across New Zealand, please make sure you, you know, just follow the, follow the law. Follow the law. Pass your resolutions, make sure they're all complete, cross the T's and dot the I's, and then we won't be wasting our time, we won't be wasting our Parliament's time putting through, um, really, unnecessary legislation which shouldn't happen in the first place, but regretfully, um, you know, there are times where Parliament has to step in. And I would just say, let's hope, let's hope there's not a concerned citizen or ratepayer around the country who may be going through their uh, local government official information, wanting to get copies of all the resolutions that were passed and trying to marry them up. You know how some people might do that out there. They are, um, you know, certain, certain, certain ratepayers are quite uh, pedantic. And so let's hope that there's not, uh, <laughs> let's hope that, um, you know, uh, more of these uh, errors uh, do not come to light um, because, 
uh, you know, if it's happened for a, a, one of our major councils in, in Christchurch City Council, and uh, goodness knows out, out of the 78 other local authorities around uh, the country, let's hope, let's hope that they have all uh, been compliant in passing their resolutions. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I call Matt Ducey. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Uh, it's a great honour to rise and speak to this bill for the first time. Uh, the third reading 